Canton's Therapeutic Recreation Program is considered one of, if not the best TR program in Southeast Michigan. But little thought is given to what it takes to keep the TR program going. Although this program helps many, it too needs a helping hand to continue its important work. Wayne County has provided financial assistance to Canton's TR program for years, and in 2022, Wayne County continued its support by increasing its financial aid to the program. To show its gratitude, Canton held a small thank you gathering at the summit. Thanks for funding from Wayne County. These programs remove limitations and introduce these individuals to new ways. This invaluable support has changed lives and continues to have an immeasurable positive impact on numerous families, which is why we are grateful. We're hosting our event, a thank you for our Wayne County commissioners who are able to find and secure some extra funding for our therapeutic recreation program here in Canton. We're getting $150,000 from Wayne County, specifically the Conference of Western Wayne Commissioners helped us to acquire funding to support the therapeutic recreation program. Those in attendance were parents like Jane Corso and dignitaries like Greg Hollenberger, Canton Supervisor Anne-Marie Graham-Hudak, John Lefevre, Jennifer Gerard, and Wayne County Commissioner Melissa Dobb, who is credited with spearheading the TR program. I don't know if I'd call myself the spearhead of the project, but I definitely was part of the team. Um, I got involved when Supervisor Anne-Marie Graham-Hudak contacted me and let me know about the Therapeutic Recreation pro Program here in Canton and asked me to see if we could get some funding from Wayne County to continue the project. While well, Canton celebrated the generous funding from Wayne County and is considered by many as the hub of the Southeastern TR community, alone, Canton doesn't have enough participants to warrant a full-fledged program. But with numbers come strength. John Lefevre explained. Canton alone, as a sole community, doesn't maybe necessarily have enough uh, individual participants to warrant a full-fledged program or a full-time program, and neither do any of the other surrounding communities. So by coming together, working together, each one of us can kind of pool our residents together to help justify that. And when you do that, you also get to bring additional resources to the table. So we can actually offer this program, great program, for a population that doesn't really get served otherwise uh, with social opportunities like this. Uh, we get to leverage all the resources that we have and kind of do it at a large scale uh, with kind of a minimal commitment from each community. So it's really a nice cooperation between uh, all of Western Wayne County's communities. Parents like Jane Corso couldn't thank Canton's TR program enough. She said the TR program was a big reason they decided on Canton, Michigan as a home. Words can even express how grateful I am for the therapeutic recreation program. My daughter Christine has been a member of this program ever since we moved here from Florida in 2006 and we could have actually moved anywhere. We picked this area in Wayne County, Canton, especially because of this therapeutic recreation program. They put so much effort into the program. She's so happy. She has the biggest smile on her face when she attends these programs and um, I'm forever grateful. Corso and Canton know that grants like this one are extremely important. They will help Canton's TR program remain open and available to TR residents in Southeast Michigan for years to come. This grant money is so important to our program because this is the money that will help fund our future programming and keep these programs here in Canton for more than just Canton residents, for folks all over Southeast Michigan so that they can have friends and socialize and do activities just like you and I like to do.